prawns, buckos, bounties. Get on your knees and tell me you love me. Yo, bucko, id Zero, come back to you with another figure of you. Today we have the Baroness action figure. But yeah, um, seriously, I just ended up watching this movie with Nurk a couple days ago, and the movie wasn't terrible. It wasn't amazing either, but it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen. If it wasn't about Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, it would be a decent movie. But because it's about them, it's not a great movie. But anyways, guys, enough ranting. Let's go ahead and get into this figure. So here's Baroness. She's actually looking pretty sexy. I actually like this design. Uh, don't have too many problems. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I kind of like the added details in the suit and stuff. I don't know. Baroness is just almost always pretty sexy. So pretty excited to get into this. And then that artwork on this packaging is beautiful. Like waifu right there but yeah starting off the packaging you got your nor your special black packaging for snake eyes movie that's awesome snake eyes um gi joe classified baroness you got your beautiful po I, I can't get over that that's a sexy ass portrait side of the packaging look at that that's freaking awesome love that color scheme it just looks so awesome it looks like one of those uv poster type of things that's freaking dope got your snake eyes background she is number 19 which is weird that they made her but um what is her name right kiko and um scarlet are kind of like nowhere to be found at the moment so that's weird but yeah enough ranting let's go ahead and get her out of the packaging all right, and here is Movie Baroness out of the packaging, and she is looking sexy and feeling sexy. Now, she already moves a lot better than the um, Coil release Baroness, so that's already a plus point in my book. I was worried that this is just going to be like just a nightmare to pose, but... Yeah, she's already getting into poses a lot easier. But yeah, she's getting into poses a lot easier already. Looking pretty decent out of the packaging. Now, we're going to go ahead and get into her accessories. But first, I want to go ahead and see if this helmet from the original Baroness release is going to work on her. I don't think it will, but we're going to find out. The answer is is unfortunately no the ball is way too small for the helmet but it kind of like fits on I don't know you can I'm sure you guys can figure something out it does look really good on her though but yeah it's really unfortunate because she's gonna be obviously a lot easier to get than the coil Baroness don't know if they ever are gonna re-release her in just individual packaging you pretty much missed your last chance to get her yeah you pretty much missed your last chance to get the normal baroness on the coil so they're gonna have to re-release her in single packaging eventually but yeah the collector con has been weird <laughs> all right but now actually getting into her accessories so for starters we, she comes with these glasses out of the packaging her kind of like sexy librarian glasses um, let's go ahead and flip these on here slip these in these like little holes right here bam bam yeah goes on very nicely and it fits and I don't have to like honestly if you didn't know that these are separate you probably wouldn't they yeah they're not loose at all that poured it in there very well and Honestly, they could have just made this part of the figure, but there is a part in the movie where her glasses like fly off. So, not surprised that they come off. So, it's actually a really cool feature. Um, yeah, but in terms of her other accessories, she comes with these two kind of like, what are these, like kunai knives. Um, these are actually pretty cool. They have the nice silver for the blade, and then they both have this snake for the grip. These guys are super cool looking. Yeah, very nice to get two of these. Um, they look super awesome, super nice details. And then those are gonna go ahead and holster into 
back here pretty sure they go like this yeah, pretty sure they go like that so bam bam I actually don't really recall her using these in the movie but there was a lot of stuff going on during the fight sequences so I could have missed it but yeah don't really recall seeing her with that but it is cool that she comes with both of those but yeah getting into her last accessory it is this kind of pretty sure this is an mp5 now this thing is freaking dope I didn't even notice in the packaging that it has you know these kind of like brown for the grip that's freaking awesome and then the magazine detaches and the silencer detaches so and then the silencer is a super nice mold just the whole gun is a super nice mold this is freaking awesome um yeah i really like the mp5 already but yeah this thing is freaking awesome and then if you're wondering bam there's a muzzle flash and there's that but yeah this thing looks freaking awesome it look, it's super nicely molded too like it's just crazy how nice that looks but yeah it goes ahead in her hand really well here fit that in the grip here bam yeah super nice looking this yeah this is an awesome mold so even if you don't like her using this this is honestly this gun it's really freaking cool I hope they reuse this with another character but yeah that's awesome and then of course just showing it off one more time um, take the magazine out and put the magazine back in so she can mag swap with Scarlet <laughs> uh, yeah that was interesting but yeah anyways let's get into this figure starting with the head sculpt she actually I want to say she 100% looks like the actress but she does look pretty close not too bad um, yeah let's get these glasses off of here they did a pretty good job with her doll face looking pretty sexy yeah, looking pretty nice um, it's not too much they could have done to make it better I know people don't like the short hair but I'm okay with it let's put these glasses back on here yeah there's her look with the glasses one more time looks very nice yeah so out of the packaging um, my her neck was like messed up and I wouldn't have even noticed had the had an opt-in for the choker so yeah um, the choker looks really good but she just has a long neck syndrome which certain angles you wouldn't even notice but uh yeah yeah so certain angles you wouldn't notice but like just a straight up pose you're gonna notice pretty easily and then going down from the neck the paint it's kind of a really rough transition from the kind of glossy paint you get for the head and neck to this kind of like flat color tan <sighs> it kind of sucks but oh well and then you get these and then getting into her suit now the suit is super nicely textured the whole thing so yeah um looking at her chest super just just it's a super nice texture all around very nice like snake scale patterns and stuff going throughout the figure the gloves are super nice like leathery texture they did a really good job with all the textures on this figure yeah especially the back look at look at how nice that looks yeah she looks lethal and sexy and then the belt is super nice it's a very nice take of kind of the original like style belt and it's not loose well it's not that loose compared to this belt but if you like that first wave of figures had a lot of problems with like loose things <laughs> but oh well yeah so there's a kind of side by side of these two um, not many things that are similar on here so really can't do a comparison but yeah she just I can tell you already that she does move a lot better articulation wise so that's good so yeah if you need a more articulate Baroness you could probably like swap you could probably swap heads or something I I don't think that's gonna work too much but be probably a better option for you guys that want a 
more articulated version, but I think they're going to make a better version of Baroness eventually because, I mean, they kind of have to. It's Baroness. Like, just give her those double jointed elbows from Lady J, and we're all good. Speaking of which, it sucks that she doesn't have the double jointed elbows, but she was. I think this way was supposed to release like last year, so before Lady J was created, I mean, she is number what? 19 and Lady J is like 20 something so oh well can't really fault them for something that was delayed but I'm not really sure if delay is the right word when the other figures aren't out I don't know how that works but yeah um, other than that very nice leather shiny texture all the way down to her boots and then her boots are again completely new completely different from the original so yeah and then one thing she does have over the original is she has the boot swivels so that's freaking awesome but we'll get into articulation right now because we might as well so yeah so she has the neck art moves and then it goes up into a hinge swivel and then she looks down pretty well actually not up too far then a little bit of head tilt her butterfly joints look work really nicely so yeah butterfly joints hit the swivel at the shoulder unfortunately that's where the downside of this happens is you get the butterfly joints but you can't really move all the way around so you're gonna have to play with that a little bit but yeah you're not gonna get her in any ninja poses but I mean technically you don't have to <laughs> Then she has a ball joint at the torso, and then another kind of ball joint where this uh, at her waist. Yeah, so got a double ball joint thing going on, just like the original Baroness figure, but this is a lot w more well hidden. Can't really even tell it's there compared to the other Baroness, where it's just like, <sighs> yeah, yeah. This you can tell that that's there you can't tell that the ball joint you can't tell that the ball joint at the waist is there on this one so that's already a plus yeah. and then you have a single jointed elbow on both sides so yeah sucks that you're not double jointed but I mean in terms of female figures not unusual hinge as well about the wrist this one goes up and down for aiming purposes this one also goes up and down for aiming purposes so that's freaking dope Again, gun users need to aim, so sometimes they get it right, sometimes they don't. Legs go forward that far, back not too much, then you got your G.I. Joe kind of swivel articulation, the dumbbell bar, I don't know what the hell to call it. Got your thigh swivels, thick thighs save lives, double jointed knees, yep, that is very interesting, <laughs> very flexible. Get on your knees and tell me you love me. And then she has the boot swivel and the hinge at the ankle and a forward facing pin for rockers. Just, just, oh my god, the sh freaking heels on this. Insane. Who the hell would ever wear this? Alright, guys, and she's looking pretty sick, so let's get into the 360 view of this badass. Right,
All right, now we're gonna show her off next to some other figures. So she, here she is next to Commando Snake Eyes, Baroness, and Movie Storm Shadow. And here she is next to Cobra Commander and Destro. And as always, here she is next to Luke Skywalker Squawker and Old Left Limbs. All right, and Baroness is not a bad figure at all. Probably out of the movie figures, she might end up being the best. I don't know. We'll see once Scarlet and Akiko come out. Um, what, I have no idea when they're going to come out, by the way. But, yeah. I think she's going to be the best, which is kind of funny to think about. That a movie about Snake Eyes and he isn't even going to have the best figure. Um, same thing with Storm Shadow. Still crappy figure. Could have used a nice repaint because that color is just don't know what the hell cut that color is but it's not the same color as the uniform in the movie because in the movie that suit looks awesome but Baroness looks pretty good um, pretty cool accessory she comes with and yeah she just looks really good um, not the best figure in the line but yeah if you collect Cobra if you want a Baroness she's definitely a pickup anyways guys you could bring her in warm or you could bring her in cold thanks for watching and good hunting